what's happening welcome back to the channel i made an mcj and today's video is on this absolutely gorgeous fiat a bar 500 tributo ferrari rep isn't it yeah yeah this is the owner steve he's a good friend of mine so Yo. gonna have a bit of banter this one <laughs> <laughs> so obviously you go in for the the full um tributo ferrari rep kind of thing aren't you yeah um let, just talk us through on why you go rep and not buy an actual one because because they're actually you know, like 36 bags new something like that <laughs> 37 grand so it's stupid. an absolutely stupid amount of money for a fiat 500 basically yeah. obviously it's tuned by a bath and stuff but there's a massive amount of money to pay for something like that isn't it yeah it's a like massive you amount of mentioned money. even the um because you've got special edition badges as well yeah you? yeah i've got the um Michael Schumacher uh, special edition badge on the back. Yeah. Um, that weren't cheap. No. That cost quite a bit of money just to stick that on there. Um, I can guess. I was going to go for the the actual Ferrari badges. Yeah. But you're looking at like three, four hundred quid yeah. just for a set, and that's each side, not, not mad just pricing, one side. Isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's mad, mad prices. So, um, starting on the outside, obviously you've got the, the badges and different things on the outside. What have you done to the outside? This, this has changed dramatically. I mean, it had white stripes on it, as you know. Yeah. It had white stripes on it. Um, the bodywork was a bit shabby. Yeah. All underneath was a mess. Um, it's pretty immaculate on the outside now, isn't it? Yeah, really? it's, it's, it's mint now. It's absolutely mint now. Such a nice looking car, especially yes. when it's parked next to mine as well. <laughs> there's, there's a few bits and bobs I need to tweak on it. Yeah. Um, a few bits of body work. I just need to tie it. Oh yeah, big shout out to my dad. Uh, car care centre Stafford. Uh, just behind the uh, Couture nightclub. Has he got... He's um, done all the work on it, yeah. A Facebook page? Uh, yeah, he has, yeah. yeah I'll, link the, I'll link yeah, the link in, in the description. Uh, yeah, we've done all the work on it. I mean, we—I was finishing work at five o'clock in the afternoon, yeah, and literally hitting the garage at like six and shutting the doors, and we were just staying inside on the ramp and just going at it for hours. But had, uh, all the coil springs were gone, the shockers were gone, yeah, um, the drop links were gone, um, the discs were gone. But uh, I work in auto parts. Yeah. Stores, you know. Yeah. So I just went in there, I spent a stupid amount of money in one day. Just buying different parts. Buying all the parts for it, yeah. And I just went back to the garage and we just we just went at it for three days. Yeah. Just changing everything. But it's changed dramatically. The handling's so much better. Yeah. Uh, so what? Because obviously it's dropped by normal standards, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. What have you dropped it on? I think it's 20 on the front. 30 on the back. Yeah. I think. It's quite not too sure. Yeah. It's quite low, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's low. It is low. And what what coilovers have you got on it? Uh Coney's. Coney's. eBay. Alright, oh, okay. Straight eBay straight, special. Yeah, everyone's yeah. Uh, everyone's straight doing an eBay, eBay special. Yeah, plan. Coney's straight off eBay. Um there is an that there's there's, there's an abarth dealer around the corner from, from where I work. Yeah. And for parts, you go in there for parts and they just want stupid money. Yeah. Anything Absolute stupid money. Anything a bar yeah, just got yeah. a price tag on it, like AMG or anything, isn't it? I went in there for a uh, bit of plastic on the back of my bumper. Yeah, yeah. That's missing um, one on the inside of the fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just went in there. Just, oh yeah, the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get just get a general quote. And fifty quid or fifty five quid for a bit of plastic. Yeah. I was like, mate. Jesus. That is ridiculous. You'll probably get some chicken wire and <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said, he said the amount happen. of people that come in here though and, and ask for a bar parts and. They go, yeah, I'll come back later because yeah. they do say themselves it's just yeah. ridiculous. Stupid ridiculous amount of money. Christ. Sick, Cuddy. Yeah, um, yeah an another thing with the suspension as well, you, you, pro you can probably see it on the video, it's so bouncy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's rock hard, yeah. It's absolutely savage on your on your back and your ass. I'm not I'm not professional with how suspension works or anything yeah. like that, but like I say, it's changed the handling dramatically. Yeah. It's so sharp. It, it's oh yeah, like, it goes it's like around corners really well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like go kart and steroids. The, the seats hug you proper in as well, aren't yeah. they? Like proper yeah. nice seats. So what are these seats? The ones that just come with the car anyway? Yeah, yeah, these are just standard above seats. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, the normal kind of bucket. They're kind of like a half bucket kind of you thing. You start going they? for the five nine fives and stuff like that. Yeah. You're getting these save out seats, which is like the proper full on harness. 
yeah. the same out since, yeah. Carbon so what, fiber. what did this car start off as? A... It started off as an SESE. SESE? The SESE model. So what's the difference between the, the models? Uh, I think you get your standard of bath. Yeah. Then it just goes up from there. I think you get the SESE and the 595 and the 695. Are they all like different trim yeah, levels yeah. and like the ST1, yeah, ST2 yeah, kind yeah. of thing? So if we go to the engine, so it's a 1.4 turbo, right? It's a 1.4 turbo. Um, it had a map on it when I bought it. What, did, what does it come standard about? 160 146 or something? 146 standard, I think they are. And now what is it? This is pushing nearly 200 brake. 200. With about Jesus. 400 newton meters of torque. Out of a 1.4. Out of 1.4. You can go higher. These can go, when you start messing about with the engine and uh, injectors and stuff. Yeah. They go stupidly higher. You can, you can get up to upwards of 300 brake out of these. That's mad, some, isn't it? Some of that I've seen on YouTube and that. But yeah, they, they, without having to forge them and stuff as well. Oh yeah, you have to forge them, yeah. like change parts and stuff like that. But okay. Yeah, yeah. So they're a little bit like a, a course of EXR engine, I suppose. Yeah. You can take them yeah. up to like 300, but you need to do. You need to significant. Start, yeah, significant stuff to the engine. That will be happening, by the way. That will be happening. Nice. Um, what are your What are your plans to car? I've always said when I bought it, I worked my way from the bottom to the top. Yeah. So I've done the bottom. Um, better brakes. So I had Brembo, uh, Jordan perforated discs all around yeah. the pads. So I've got the calipers. I haven't stuck the calipers on yet. But yeah, I've got yellow uh, Brembo brake calipers to go on. Okay. Um, that, so how much are we are we talking for a, 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 a decent brake setup on an A bar? Decent brake setup. Yeah. Like, like what you've chucked on. Say what you've chucked on. Uh, I'm talking. I'm look. I've chucked on braking system wise about three, three fifty, yeah. four hundred quid, something like that. So half decent chunks. So of, half decent chunks yeah. of brakes. Yeah. Are those standard wheels on the car as well. These are the SEA SE SE wheels. Yeah. He's paying stupid money just for the alloys. I mean, I looked at alloys because I thought, oh, I get, get a fresh set of alloys put on it. Yeah. But uh, you're looking up upwards of a grand just for a Jesus. full set of SESC wheels yeah dad's a, a my dad does a lot of paint work and body work so yeah I was really probably just getting refurbed so is there um anything other like body work wise that you want to do to the car uh, I need to sit down and have a look at body, uh, body kits yeah now there's a there's a Ferrari body kit you can buy for the above but the 32 grand now I'm not paying 32 grand Jesus for a body right. kit. <laughs> no, and that's not that. without buying the car as well. Yeah. As, as it is. Um, but yeah, you're looking at upwards of 32 grand. That's what that's the ones I've been looking at anyway. The ones yeah. that I've seen on the internet. Um, you can buy uh, arches, like wider arches kits. Yeah, yeah. But I don't really want to be one of these that starts cutting out arches and stuff. No. And start whacking arches and stuff on. But the cars themselves have quite a wide stance really, don't they, compared to the normal one. They kind of go out like a, a say like a Toblerone kind of shape, don't they? Yeah. Like fully yeah, yeah, out yeah, like I've a triangle, that, don't they? To be honest, um, I don't know why they have the back end so high. Yeah, I don't know. I don't why know, they do that. They, you know, you know like a Nissan um, Qashqai, they do the plus two and it's like a stretched roof. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like yeah, that, yeah, but yeah, it doesn't yeah. stretch so much. Yeah. Yeah. I noticed that when I was doing the um, cinematics and stuff. It's like very, very raised up kind of thing, even yeah. though the car's so low. Um, obviously, you have a couple of problems with it's very good around corners, but bumpiness is very like yeah, I think that, sharp I think, it was, this, I think it? it's definitely designed for a track now. <laughs> yeah. um, we'll have to take it on track at some point. That is, get a video that of is it. something I'm, I'm itching to do, really. It's just be good. Just get it on a track and see what it can actually do. I've watched a few Nürburgring, vi uh, Nürburgring videos with the yeah. bars on. And my God, are they going? Oh, they are. They're going. Yeah. They are going. Yeah. Yeah, you wanted to go take it to Nürburgring as well. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking about getting some roof bars on it. Yeah. Um, get a roof box on the top. Get it sprayed red. Yeah. Same colour as the car. 
Yeah. Um, get it all detailed up. That'll look cool. And then, yeah, just head straight over to Germany and get it on the track. There's, um, there's a guy called Jack Ultramotive. Hit me up. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Jack Ultramotive. He's got an Audi R8. Similar colour, similar red and black and stuff. And he's got a um, a box for the top and it oh, all. Yeah. Mate, it totally changes the Just look of the car. It, off. it looks yeah. sick, absolutely sick. So shout out to Jack. Um, I am in talks, guys, with um, a couple of different people. Um, I'll be going Jack Fest as well. We'll get the um, in-car footage and stuff. We're also going to be doing a couple of videos with Steve um, on a racing simulator. Um, he's got a decent setup as his house, so we'll have a couple of videos in different vlogs and stuff for that as well. Oh yeah, I hit uh, the Nürburgring on Project Cars. Shout yeah. out to Project Cars because that is a brilliant game. If you want a, a full simulated game for racing, that is the one. Yeah. Um, Forza, for a lot, I know a lot of people play Forza, it's too arcadey for me. Yeah. Um, it's very the, realistic what, project. Uh, cars, was it the Atom V8? Yeah, so you, you did a, in the Atom V8, it was seven, seven minutes, minutes 21, wasn't it? Was it 21? That you got down to. 721, yeah, I got it down to. Yeah, yeah. 721 on the Nürburgring. So if you want to smash it, then put a comment underneath or Any like send there, us an yeah. actual video of proof because I know what you lot are like. <laughs> <laughs> so send us um, video proof and stuff. Put it on the road kind of ready. holds the road so well even when it's like proper boosting it up the road you can feel it really being pulled from from the front end as yeah. well can't you that's mad we didn't mention about the exhaust as well a lot of people are coming up to you and saying that the the exhaust yeah, sounds different on this doesn't it there's a lot more growly and i've had people call it the purring lion and everything mate it's yeah. just it's but I've never, to be honest, there's been a few of baths that I've been around and they don't sound like this. Yeah. But it has got a full straight through system put in it. Oh, right, okay. It's a um, stainless steel pipe. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, literally just straight through. So it's not, it's not overly loud either, is it really? No. It's like a no. nice, it's a nice deep growl, but it's not overly loud so that when you're gunning it or anything, you can't hear like it for miles and attracting police and everyone no, and stuff. No. driving seat as it does on yeah, the yeah, passenger yeah. and it also feels so bloody responsive around corners it feels so like anchored down it just feels really like everything's there at your disposal yeah. kind of thing uh, i can feel like the the throttle's like very instant as well even though the the turbo kicks in about like three and a half four thousand doesn't it um and the the clutch is like very on feathery, or off, isn't it's feathery, it? isn't it? Don't yeah. you think? It's very feathery, it's feathery very, clutch. It's very either on or off, or off yeah. kind of thing. Compared to my ST, I think maybe the ST's clutch is coming a little bit further out and stuff. This is very, you know, you're in gear or not in gear it's kind there. of thing, isn't it? All I know, anyone that's had an A-bath, they've always said it's the most 
fun car you can buy yeah, on really the market like today. Um, I really like it. Oh, you can definitely hear it like pulling up as yeah. well. You can hear it sucking in the air. Absolutely mint little car. I can, I can definitely vouch for how fun it is. It does feel really fun. They say, don't they? It puts a smile on your face. Yeah. You can't go wrong, can you? Yeah, exactly. A 1.4 litre doing 200 brake, it picks up so bloody quick. You can definitely feel the like 400 newton metres of torque as well. Proper puts you back. Very torquey, yeah. yeah. Very torquey for a small engine. Which is obviously what a bar for good at with really with their small engines and stuff they're pushing decent power out of them and stuff. Yeah it's really really nice. I like it. <laughs> Kinda want one now to be honest. <laughs> Don't think I can afford Everyone one. Everyone right says now. that when they get in here. I want one. Straight away they want one. <laughs> it's like a perfect seating position as well. Like everything feels good. There's quite a big steering wheel really in it, yeah. but it doesn't feel like it's in the way or anything. Um, flat bottom obviously. A nice touches of hay bath everywhere. Yeah. Just got to have it, but yeah. So the like reliability issues. Have you had any reliability? Issues? Um, I've had no problems Nothing with this car all. whatsoever since I bought it. I've had it uh, six months now. Yeah. But yeah, I've had literally no problems with it whatsoever. We have a quick pull from third. Yeah, go. When we when we yeah, get yeah. into this bit. So this is from third, guys. Foot down. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> well, that's a decent pull that <laughs> pulls in well i like it and i think that's a, a, about it thanks for bringing it down um and showing it on the channel drop um, some good reviews <laughs> yeah put some any tell us what you any think bath people out there let me know yeah what you can do to these because I'm, I'm i'm not fully up there yet with the yeah. baths so if you know put it in the comments and i'll get it back to uh back to steve um, so thanks for watching guys, please like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace out. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm leading. All them other man need feeding. I don't want to go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from feeling. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with the phone and dab. I'll stop my with the duster. Put